What's up, my PT peeps? One Eye Bri back to do a Walking Dead discussion about Heath. And is he being really the worst character from the comic book on the TV show? Spoilers ahead if you don't know about the comic book, the TV show, season 7 of The Walking Dead. Just general spoilers of The Walking Dead TV show and comic as well. So basically, The Walking Dead is a comic book before a TV show. We all know that. And Heath was a main character in the comic book, but not really on the TV show. Now let's talk about comic book Heath first. Here's just some information about him. He looks pretty good. His look and of the character and the comic book is pretty spot on, which is great. The Walking Dead brought the comic book character to the TV show, but the comic book character first appeared in issue 69 is alive today, present day in the comic book. He has a lot more storyline and parts in the comic book versus the show, and for various reasons we'll talk about that, but he's in the lineup. He is a person in the lineup. He's with the group more often. He does a lot more things for the group and with Rick in Alexandria and still today. With the lineup just occurring in season seven, we thought it was interesting to see that he was in the lineup in the comic book, but not even thought of in the show. He was supposedly on a two-week run with Tara, and we'll see that come to conclusion in today's episode, but he's a different character in a lot of forms and fashions in the comic book versus the show he's just not there in the show we see him a little bit he's with glenn here taking out some walkers doing things there he definitely is a different character and you know it's a shame because he is a good he is a good character of the comic that we thought would be a good character for the show as well he's he's with denise until she dies in the comic and it's kind of a different part of course He's there going after Denise. He's also a member of Rick's group today and in for all out war. So he's with the March at war. He's all the way to the left right there. If you just look at the comic, you see Rick in the center all the way to the left is Heath. And for the show, it's just different. And that's a shame because it's a missed opportunity for a great character we feel. And it's probably to do for a couple reasons, but let's talk about show Heath. It's played by actor Corey Hawkins. He looks spot on from the comic to the show. His first appearance is in First Time Again, which is in Season 6, Episode 1. And he's credited for six episodes. He's really only in five, but he's credited on one of those. So we'll just give him six episodes, which is pretty small part. Six episodes of now seven seasons of work is pretty crazy. But we're finally going to get to see him more in this week's episode, Season 7, Episode 6. Which is why we got us talking about... Corey Hawkins and Heath. And in season seven, episode six, it's basically the Tara and Heath episode, mostly about Tara even too. So in the Tara episode for this, Heath's in there, but we just don't get more Heath. And it sounds like Heath's going to be stuck in a predicament of will he live or die? And he's only filmed episode six for season seven is what the Spoiling Dead fans and other spoiler groups have seen of him. Now, he may be in the finale because there was a person hiding themselves. We don't know if it was Heath, and that would be freaking awesome if he's in season seven, episode six, if he's hidden, he he goes away. We don't know what happens to him because we just don't see. He doesn't die. So we know he doesn't die yet. But if he comes back in the finale, that'd be freaking awesome. I remember him coming in. In this form here too, they come to the gate, it's him and Scott, and I think uh, Annie, then they come to the gate with Eugene, they stop and talk, and you're like, oh, Heath's here, awesome, he's going to be a character, but he's only, like I said, he's only been in six episodes, which were all in season six, the main ones being with, he was with Michonne, when they were trying to get back from the walkers and everything, and Annie died, and he was, he was help carrying Scott back, and then when they attack the compound, he's with Glenn. They talk about killing people because neither of them have done it. They can kill walkers all day, but killing people is hard for them. They finally go in, they go to the compound, and it probably still weighs on Heath. He's probably going to bring that up a little bit in this episode, I would think, because they don't know what the status of Alexandria and the world is right now. They don't know about the lineup or anything. They've been gone on that two-week run since the compound run. You know, when they stormed the compound against the Saviors, which was an awesome episode, by the way, they got in the RV, Tara and Heath left from the compound two weeks ago and gone by, probably even more than that, because I feel like it's been forever since we heard of them, thought of them or whatever, and they're going to go back and deal with that. It's going to be real tough for Tara because she actually gets back to Alexandria and we just don't know what happens to Heath. 
So even in this episode, Season 7, Episode 6, it's more of a Tara episode than a Heath episode. So we still don't get much of Heath. Oceanside, Cindy, the all-women society there group, that's what it's going to be about as well. So it's a shame because Heath is getting no role, no love, no connection, no just <laughs> parts of the show. And it's a shame because Heath is a good part. Corey Hawkins is a good actor. I liked him in Straight Outta Compton and a couple other things. And that's probably why he hasn't been in a lot of other stuff. Tara gets back to Alexandria. Heath, we don't know if he dies. It leaves it open, and I really hope he comes back in this season, but it might not happen. If it does, it would be the finale. But the main reason why he hasn't been in a lot of stuff because he's in the Fox show 24 Legacy. He's one of the bigger characters, or if not the main character. I don't even know the show too much, but he's one of the big actors in that. So he's his time was being spent with that and filming for that because it comes this February should be a good show for sure. I'll have to check it out. But I think one of the biggest mistakes in comic book adaptations was Andrea. She was terrible on the show. We talked about that in that uh, video right there if you want to check that out on our site. But Heath, I don't know, man. Hopefully you come back around and you make it to All Out War in Season 8. So there you go, guys. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe today to get more videos. Let us know what you think about Heath and the comic book adaptations of other characters. Thanks, guys.